Okay, so let's see. Calculate the number of molecules in CH of CH4 and 48 grams of CH4. This one's going to be fun. So with that, I don't want you to see the answer, but I do know the question. So molecules of CH4 in was it 48 grams? I guess if you you can just pause it and read the screen. <laughs> But yeah, let's work through it as if we didn't have the answer in front of us. So the way this works, right, is that same concept. You want to find out what is the molar mass of CH4 here. Okay. So with that, um, let's actually figure that out together. Um, give me a quick second to pull that up. So carbon is 12.001. I mean 12.011. There's only one of them, one carbon times 12.011, okay? And oxygen is, I mean hydrogen, sorry. It's four of them, 1.008. So if we rewrote this, um, give me a quick second here. Let's see, it'll be 12.011. And according to my calculator, 1.008 times 4, 4.032. So in total, we have 16.043 grams per mole of CH4. Okay, so now we have that. We want to now do the thing where we find out how many moles is there because they're asking for molecules and I'll show you how we get from moles to molecules but the important thing is that right now we need moles um, let's see so with that we're going to now do the same thing so 48 grams remember your units times so what do we want we want moles so moles at the top grams at the bottom Okay, and according to the formula, it's one mole is 16.043 grams. So 48 divided by that, uh, let me see here, 48 divided by that is around three, but 2.9919. We'll just keep that here. I have the full number of my calculator, so I'll be following that through. Okay. So now you're probably wondering how do we get from moles to molecules? There's actually this cool thing called Avogadro's number. Okay. And we can actually find it here. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per mole. So let's see if it's here. Yep our best friend and they say items because it could also be referring to elements as well I just like to say molecules um, so this would actually follow the same concept that we've been doing so what we have here is we have 2.9919 moles right okay and then we use Avogadro's number 6.022 particles Per one, whoops, I almost got to the times 10 to the 23rd. There's a lot of them. There are a lot of particles in a mole. And I know it's 6.022 instead of that because that's what I was taught in uh, university. Um, so that's the number I usually just default to and use. I'm just showing it here because it's important to actually refer to the conversion factor. Uh, in fact, depending on which course you're taking, some of them just assume that you already know and memorize it so I'd get really familiar with whatever is listed in your table that way you can just pull it out of your head um, and I will stress that this can only really be done through practice because like, exactly these numbers can seem pretty arbitrary okay so with that we cancel these two out 6.022 to the power of 23 so what I get are one point and let's see based on the question they asked for 48 grams 
we're using the same concept of um, significant digits and so we only need to keep two so 1.8 times 10 to the power of 24 particles of CH4 so that's a lot of particles but it is what we would expect because when you're dealing with particles they're almost infinite like there's a lot in space yes yeah there's a lot of them and let's see how we did um, yep they got 1.8 times 10 to 24 how did they do it they first found the molar mass 16.04 perfect and they got the number of moles which is what we got because the only way you can get the molecules is through the moles because that's what Avogadro's number uses per mole so you cannot convert straight from grams to particles you always have to make sure you get the molar mass to convert the grams of whatever molecule you have into its moles and then you can use Avogadro's number for it okay so with that um, I do believe that's all we have for tonight so once again uh, thank you for tuning in um, hope you have a wonderful night and if you ever need some more help you can definitely check out the links that we provide in the description below and once again if you ever want to review anything that I talked about you can just go back take it back into the um, what we discussed earlier pause it and just write down some notes from there okay uh, thanks and have a good night